Hello and welcome to another video taking a look at solving equations. Here I have 6x minus 9 is equal to 15. This is slightly more difficult than the previous examples because we've got two things going on. Um, so again what we're looking to do is we're looking to undo the things that are being done to the number that we don't know. So here I've got 6x minus 9 is equal to 15. So first of all I'm just going to get rid of this minus 9. We're looking to get to a situation at the end of solving this where we've got x is equal to just the number. We want to find out what this unknown number is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add on 9. To get rid of this minus 9 or to undo what is being done I can just do the opposite of minus 9 which is to add on 9. Now this gives us a new line of our equation. This gives us 6x is equal to 15 plus 9 which means that 6x is equal to 24. From this point I can say that well if 6x is equal to 24 this means 6 multiplied by a number that we don't know is equal to 24 so to undo that multiplied by 6 I'm simply going to divide by 6. So this leaves me with 24 divided by 6 and so we could say that x is equal to 4. Uh, next example, I've got 4x plus 8 is equal to 13. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this plus 8. I'm going to undo the plus 8 by doing the opposite of it, which is minus 8. So that leaves me with 4x is equal to 13 minus 8, which gives me an answer of 5. Now, what I'm left with is 4x is equal to 5. This means 4 times by x. 4 times a number that I don't know, so to undo that times by 4, I'm going to divide by 4, and so that means that x is equal to 5 divided by 4, or 5 over 4, which I could then say is the same as 1 and 1 quarter. Next one here, I've got x divided by 4 minus 7 equals 3, so again I'm just going to undo this minus 7 by adding it on. When I do that, that leaves me with x divided by 4 is equal to 3 plus 7, which is 10. Now I've got x divided by 4 is equal to 10. Then after that, to get rid of the divide by 4, I can just multiply by 4. And so that means that x is going to be equal to 10 times 4, which is 40. Next up, I've got 5x divided by 2 plus 10 equals 13. Again, I'm going to get rid of this plus 10. I'm going to undo it by doing the opposite of it. So the opposite of plus 10 would be uh, subtract 10. So that leaves me with 5x divided by 2 is equal to 13 minus 10, which is 3. Then what I'm left with is 5x over 2 equals 3. So this divide by 2, to undo the divide by 2, I'm simply going to multiply by 2. And that leaves me with 5x is equal to 3 times 2, which is 6. Now I've got 5x is equal to 6. 5 multiplied by the number that we don't know is equal to 6. To figure out what that number is that we don't know, I'm just going to do the opposite of multiply by 5 which is to divide by 5 so I could say that x is equal to 6 over 5, 6 divided by 5 um, then I can rewrite this as a mixed number how many 5's fit into 6? 1 with a remainder of 1 and I was dividing by 5 so I can say that x is equal to 1 and 1 fifth. <laughs> 